What else does the Echo save you from doing? Well, like you said, everything is controlled here from a central location. So I can water everything right here. I can also allow the plant time to drip here at this location instead of over top the other plants in the bed. How does it know how to water it then? I mean, well, this switch up here, when it's depressed, it turns on these two laser eyes. And if there is a basket on the upper level, it's obviously got to turn on the upper solenoid. If there's a basket on the lower level, same thing. If there's no basket there, eye's not going to read anything, it's not going to turn on water. Now, how does it know how much water to water it, though? Well, Cherry Creek's in the process of making a patented weighing system that will water by weight. So if a basket is wet, it's obviously got to weigh a lot. It's not going to water that basket. If it's dry, it's got to turn on the water and weigh. What I'm noticing is a lot of different size baskets here. What does the Echo system do to help us adapt to those different size plant containers? Well, this valve right here, I can adjust however much water I want to put on each basket when it's stopping and getting watered. Also, I'm sure you noticed with the big baskets, there's a lot of foliage. In this water breaker, the water would just run right off onto the ground and wouldn't get the plant wet. Well, that's really easy fixable. I can just pop this water breaker off and we can just get oh, a stream yeah. of water to okay. blow right past the foliage and water your plant as you need it.